Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and today I'm going to weigh some blister packs from the new set, Scarlet and Violet. So I have a total of 15 blister packs here that I weighed inside of a Walmart. I bought 15 different packs at a variety of different weights to see if the lighter ones or the heaviest ones give me the best pulls. If you guys checked out my previous videos where I weighed packs from inside of a booster box from Scarlet and Violet base, you saw that it was very weighable. All you need to do is just open up the heaviest packs. So let's see if that trend continues with these blisters. So let's move them up here. I'll start with the lightest ones over here. They theoretically shouldn't give me anything good. Let's get my scale set up. So if you guys want to weigh packs like me, the link for the scale is in the description down below. Let's calibrate it. 100 grams, perfect. So this first pack weighs in at 31.28 grams and let's weigh the individual booster pack inside which weighs 22.59 grams the cardboard weighs in at 8.70 grams so let's see what we have inside we have a black border code card there you guys go it weighs in at 1.22 grams and we have uh, Taruntula, so we got a hit. That's pretty cool. Not the best hit you can get, but I'll take it, especially if it's in a light pack. This next pack weighs in at 31.25 grams. All right, the booster pack weighs 22.52 grams, so a little bit heavier. Ooh, this is different. We have a white border code card, which weighs a lot more. So that throws off all the weights. It's interesting to see because in the booster boxes, all the code cards were black border. Um, here, I guess you can kind of mix them up. So this will throw off the weights because it makes this pack heavier uh, than it actually is. But it looks like we have something good inside. We have an Arcanine EX. That's, that's pretty cool. So we got two hits right off the bat. And again, a different style code card, which is throwing off the weights. But uh, we got a hit, so I'll take that. This Arcanine looks amazing. So two hits so far in the light packs. So it might be, it is gonna be much more difficult to weigh these blister packs because you don't know if it contains a white border code card, which weighs usually more, or black border code card, which weighs usually less. So this next pack weighs in at 31.4. Uh, six grams. Uh, the booster pack inside weighs 22.71 grams, so a little bit heavier. And we have a black border code card. Do we have a hit? No hit. And it weighs the same amount as the previous black border code card, 1.25 grams. So usually all the black border code cards are coming from this style of artwork. Let's see if that trend continues. 31.48 grams. The booster pack inside weighs 22.77 grams. Will we get black or white border? Oh no, it's a white border code card. And we have a Gardevoir EX. Let's see how much it weighs, 1.6 something. Yep, 6.3 grams. So the weights of the code cards are consistent, but they're just two different styles of them. So 31.57 grams. The booster pack inside weighs 22.91 grams. And we have a white border code card. Do we have anything good? We have a drowsy and a Miriam. Nice, it's not the, the alternate art Miriam, but I will take it. We got a double hit here with this awesome looking drowsy and this Miriam full art. So let me sleeve up the Miriam. All right, let's move on to this different weight range. It's a little bit heavier, weighing in at 31.63 grams. All right, individual booster pack weighs 22.93 grams, so pretty much the same. And again, the cardboard might weigh a little bit more, which throws off the weights. That's why it's much more consistent to weigh the booster packs inside of an individual booster pack, booster box rather. 
So we got uh, just some hollows here and reverse hollows with white border code card. We can get at 1.60 grams. All right, next pack here weighs in at 31.57 grams. And inside we have a pack weighing a lot less, 22.59 grams. That means we may get a black border code card. But no, we have a white border one, which means probably not going to get anything good inside. Uh, just another drowsy and a hollow. Each pack gives you a guaranteed hollow. But so far I'm happy with the hits. Uh, usually every second pack gives me something at least. 31.68 grams, so this is the heaviest pack we're gonna open up so far. The individual booster pack, however, weighs a little bit less at 22.72 grams. We have a white border code card. So as long as it's consistent, you can reliably weigh it. I still think the play is to look for the heaviest packs, but uh, you know, this opening is kind of proving otherwise because the heaviest packs might have these white border code cards which are paired with um, worse cards to kind of increase the weight. So we got nothing in that one. This next tier weighs a lot more, 31.81 grams. And let's see how much the booster pack inside weighs. It weighs 22.85 grams. And white border code card. Ooh, we have something good. I think another Arcanine EX. Awesome. We're doubling up a lot of the hits here. 1.59 grams. So a little bit less uh, for the weight of that code card. Awesome looking card. So hopefully we get an alt 31.83 grams. The individual booster pack weighs a lot more. It weighs in at 23.07 grams. And inside, we have an alt. I was predicting an alt and we got one. Not the best alt, but it's a penny alt with a white border code card, weighing in at 1.60 grams. So very nice pull here. So far this opening is very good. It's uh, I would say it's slightly better than a, than a booster box because you're guaranteed two alts per booster box. So if I hit um, another alt, I'm doing way better than a booster box. But I'm opening up 15 packs. So one alt is kind of guaranteed. 23.08 grams, very heavy pack here. We have a white border code card with just nothing inside. White border code weighs 1.62 grams. Here you guys go. Be sure to leave a like button down below. I'm excited to see what's in the heaviest packs. This one weighs 31.82 grams. 23.07 grams. And uh, nothing good inside there. Last couple packs here. These are the heaviest ones. 31.94 grams. And I did kind of pre-open um, and pre-sever the glue so it would be easier for me to open it up. But these packs are sealed. 23.15 grams. Heaviest pack so far. Did we get something good? White border. Okay, I see something. But it's just a great Tusk EX. Still a hit, however. Next pack weighs in at 31.88 grams. 23.12 grams is the weight. And inside, white border with nothing. So we struck out on that heavy pack. This last pack weighs in at 31.90 grams. Will we have some last pack magic here? It weighs, ooh, 23.14 grams. Okay, so pretty heavy pack there. Moment of truth. I see something, a glimmer of hope. It's a Viper and a Jack full art. Not the alt, but I will take it. So 
that's an awesome looking card right there. Let me sleeve it up and then I'll recap the pulls we got here. All right, so after opening up 15 Wade blister packs from inside of Walmart, I got the following hits. I got this Tarantula, two Drowsies. These are kind of the, like the, the gallery cards. They're like alts. This Gardevoir EX, Great Tusk EX, two Arcanine EX Full Arts, this Jack Full Art, Miriam Full Art, and this Penny Full Art Alternate Art. So for ultra rares, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty much a 50% hit ratio for um, ultra rares, not including these three cards right here. So I'd say it's pretty good, but the unfortunate part is you can't really predict what you're gonna get based on the weight. So I'll probably try it again with some more blister packs, see if I can find a more consistent pattern. But uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more pack weighing videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Collector Cousin out.